So I heard you want to learn how to hit like a goon, but you don't know how. Guys, you've come straight to the right place because I am the world's number one, yes, number one most inconsistent MLB The Show player. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and show you some stuff that I personally have learned over the time of playing MLB The Show. Um, things that help me personally get better in this game. Well, actually, some of it's the opposite. So one of the things that San Diego Studios went ahead and upgraded was custom practice. And this was a major W that they went ahead and did this. In custom practice, you can be the batter facing a pitcher or you can be a pitcher facing a batter. But we're gonna go ahead and show you very soon. And uh, hopefully this is gonna help. So in here, you could choose which team you wanna go ahead and face again. So my opponent's gonna be the American League All-Stars and I'm gonna be the National League All-Stars. I'm gonna be away, which means I'm gonna bat and we're gonna play in Atlanta. So now we are in the custom practice. The one thing, this is the thing that they went ahead and upgraded in custom practice was practice type. So we're gonna go to batting. We're not focusing on pitching today. This is what they did. You can go ahead and request certain types of pitches to go ahead and get thrown at you. So if I only want fastballs, here I'm gonna click off everything else, all the other pitches Shane Bieber has, and I can choose where I want the fastball. I can either have it down the middle, or I can either have, have it in the middle outside, or in, in the middle inside, or high inside corner, or outside corner. That's the one cool thing they went ahead and added. Now we got Mookie Betts at the play here, and I wanna see some fastballs here, so. We're gonna face some fastballs down the middle. We're gonna start this practice and everything that Shane Bieber throws here should be down the middle. Boom, down the middle, perfect, perfect. Didn't really have to move my PCI, but I'm showing you for an example, holy shoot, that was crushed. So you kind of understand it. Let's go ahead and do that one more time, this time with a different batter. We're gonna have uh, Tatis, a uh, different pitcher, Garrett Cole, and here's his different pitches right here. This time, I wanna see some sliders. Sliders um, uh, low inside, sliders low inside. That's what I'm gonna request. And we're gonna start this practice. So it should be down around here. It is down around there. So you can go ahead and request some pitches, you know, in the areas of the strike zone where you feel the weakest. So sometimes for me, it's the inside sliders, inside cutters, um, inside fastballs, basically any pitch inside of the strike zone on the lefty or righty, um, you're gonna go ahead and get get me out. So anyway, that pretty much made sense. Choose any batter you want, choose any pitch you want, re request any pitch you want, not even just a fastball or slider. You can have a curve, uh, what do you call it, worked in there. And you don't even have to have that inside corner just uh, requested. You can have other parts of the of the strike zone, like right, right there, right there. We just did tic-tac-toe. But like, you know what I mean? It's it's very, it's very smart that the SDS just went ahead and added this for uh, custom practice. And I highly bet if you utilize this, you will get better. Trust me on that, you will get better. Now that we just went over that, I actually wanna go into the options and in there, there's gonna be a bunch of different settings that you guys can go ahead and adjust and we're gonna go through each and every one so you guys can go ahead and understand what the heck all of this is. So for example, if you're playing in ranked seasons and you start an all-star and you're working your way up to division series and you're going all the way to championship series, you will see your PCI starts to get smaller and smaller because it's gonna start getting harder and harder. And keep in note, a player's contact level, if it's all the way to 125, his PCI is gonna be bigger than someone with a contact level of 30. Okay, I was talking a little bit too much. So right here, you could just, you know, change your hitting difficulty. Same thing with pitching. You can go ahead and face freaking legend pitching. But here in the batting section, you can go ahead and change your view. I use strike zone, and as you saw, it was really close up to the strike zone. Um, you can go strike zone two, which is a little push back. Strike zone three, a little push back as well. Strike zone high, which is above the plate. So you can go ahead and try all these out. Whatever feels more comfortable with you, that's why it's best to go ahead and go into custom practice and see the settings that go ahead and fit whatever you need. So for example, right here, we have fisheye two. This is what I used to use when I was using directional before the settings that I have right now. So. Yeah, I mean, I had some wax settings back in the day. But right here, look, the camera is way back in behind the play and every you can see the entire field. Now, I don't even know if I'm even gonna hit the ball. I did hit the ball. Wow, well look at that PCI. But everything is just right in front of me. I'm not close up to the strike zone. I can see everything in front of me. Um, so that if you feel comfortable with this, go ahead and try it out before even getting into an online game. Like utilize custom practice, guys. That's basically uh, what this entire video is about. Just utilize custom practice. Now these other two stuff, in play view offense and ball trail. I don't think you have to go ahead and focus on that. I don't even know what any of this does. Turn off ball trail, I don't. I, you don't have to worry about that, but this right here, hitting interface, I use Zona. As I said, I was a directional hitter, and if you don't know what directional is, directional is where you go ahead and use arrows to go ahead and point where you want the ball. So right here, I wanted to go ahead and go to left field, and I was uh, I was late. But if I wanted to go the opposite way, let's see if I can go ahead and uh, swing late here and go the opposite way. 
See, I went the opposite way. That is a floop. I'll take that. That's a base hit. Then there's pure analog where you only swing with your right stick right here. Honestly, I don't know who the heck can go ahead and do. I think your friend Kyle uh, tried that out. And he, I tried that out, but... Uh, how? But you see a lot of MLB the show people in the community using zone hitting. So speaking of zone hitting, let's go ahead and get into the certain settings that you can go ahead and set for zone hitting. So as we scroll down here, we see everything here that says PCI center, PCI inner, PCI outer. Now this is what I use. Shout out to my boy KC Baseball. Um, he, he went ahead and told me that these are the best settings to go ahead and uh, hit with. Now, if you've watched my channel, you might be confused on why my PCI is always so big because this makes it look appear bigger than what the actual PCI is supposed to look like. Right here, I use diamonds. You can use circles. You can use altitude. If you're wondering what altitude looks like, this here is altitude. That is altitude. Or you can have nothing. Just have nothing in the middle. But diamonds is my choice. Again, play around with it. Now the PCIner is, how would we put this? Parentheses around our diamonds. They're the middle parentheses because once we get to our outer uh, PCI, that's also another parentheses, but that's gonna be um, on the outside. So in the PCI inner, you can go ahead and go basic. That's what I'm using for my outer. Or you can go use wedge. This is what wedge looks like. That's wedge. I can't hit with that. There's other ones like Starfighter and Fishbowl. So let's take off basic for the outer and just have the, have the inner piece size or little parentheses for now. So this is what Starfighter looks like. Starfighter is not that bad. It honestly looks really cool. But as you can see, the PCI is a little smaller just because I'm not using the outer PCI. Yeah, I suck. Fishbowl. I don't think I've ever used Fishbowl. I would think this looks like a Fishbowl, right? I would think so. I kind of see a resemblance to a Fishbowl. But, all in all, inner PCI is going to be smaller than your outer PCI. And again, it's whatever you feel most comfortable with. Again, utilize custom practice. Just go repetition, repetition, repetition over and over again. So what you feel like is what you're going to use in online gameplay, ranked seasons, battle royale. Now we're going to get to the outer PCI. And as I said, I use basic. We've seen what that looks like. There's going to be two new ones. So we got outline and we got reverb and we've seen what Starfighter looks like. So we're going to go ahead and show you what uh, what outline looks like. So this is outline. Remember, we have no inner PCI. We only have our center and outer. So this is what it looks like. I still suck. Reverb, I don't know off the top of my head. That's why we're gonna go ahead and look at it. What's reverb? That's reverb. It has three lines, three parentheses. Then finally, Starfighter. We've seen that with the uh, with the inner PCI. Here it is, just a little bit bigger. Please, please, please. Oh! Get out! Let's go! That does it for those uh, those three settings right there. Some people even like hitting with none. Some people like hitting with no PCI at all. There's some people that are good at that. But honestly, I don't know how you can even do that. But again, whatever fits your type. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the PCI color. I use white. There's yellow, orange, red, magenta, violet, blue, ocean, cyan, green, spring green, black, and okay. That was a lot. So we're almost done. We're gonna go down to PCI transparency. I got mine at 90%. So if we go all the way down to like 20%, I can barely see my PCI. I bet you guys can't even see my PCI. Like, I can still see it, but it's like, it's barely visible. Now we're gonna go back up to 90% and look at the difference here. Look at the difference here. We can see our PCI again. That's the difference with 20% and 90% transparency. Now we are on the final one, PCI fade out. I have mine on none. So what it means that uh, when the pitcher is about to pitch his ball, my PCI is not gonna fade out at all. It's not gonna dissolve or disappear. Some people want to have it fade out. It's, it's fine. You can have your inner or outer fade out. You can have your center or outer PCI fade out, or you can have all of it fade out. That's just basically swinging with no PCI. But if I were you, I would stay with none for PCI fade out. So you can go in and see where your PCI is throughout the entire pitch. So you can see the mistakes you're making and uh, where you can go ahead and improve on. But before we go ahead and do end off, guys, we have a whole new community joining our game. I'm going to be the show 21. And I know a lot of people are going to be on the hunt to go ahead and make World Series for the first time or go 12-0. and 0. Now, it's an absolute blast seeing new players go ahead and play our game. But the last thing I want to go ahead and tell you guys is to go ahead and uh, play around with Moments Showdown. Uh, go ahead and maybe play a friend challenge of the week because say if you're playing a friend, right? And you haven't gotten into an actual online exposition match like Ranked Seasons or uh, Battle Royale, um, you kind of get that feeling already playing against someone. And in like moments or showdown, you're playing against a CPU. 
That doesn't mean it's easy. Sometimes, actually most of the time, it's freaking hard. But once you start doing that more often, you'll start feeling more confident. You'll feel more relaxed. And once you get into that real exposition match, you'll know what to do. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm not the best player in this game. I've gone flawless once in my life and I was halfway to World Series. I was 855 rating and I choked one of the games and I went on a nine game losing streak. So, you know, life's not perfect. I just wanted to go ahead and take today to go ahead and share you some of the stuff that I've learned over the course of playing MLB The Show. So guys, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.